Welcome to Make Something with me, David Picciuto, and today I'm going to show you how to make your own inlay banding to take your woodworking to the next level. Check it. Today's video is brought to you by Dollar Shave Club. We're gonna talk more about them later. For this first one, I'm gonna use this beautiful piece of zebra wood that I got from Ken Craft. So we're gonna cross cut little thin strips out of this and then glue them together so we get perpendicular grain. I have this magnetic stop on the top here so I can butt up against that and then run that through and that should give me some nice thin little pieces. That we have all these thin little strips cut I want them to be sandwiched with a really thin little piece of soft maple. So again, we're gonna take this over to the table saw. I'm gonna use this as a stop to run this through to get repeatable small strips. Now we'll sandwich that with thin pieces of dark wood. We'll, we'll use ebony for that. We have everything cut. We're gonna take the zebra wood, we're gonna sandwich it in between the ebony and then a couple strips of maple. So now we're gonna take these spring clamps and uh, clamp it together. Jed clamp it. Now that the glue is dry on these guys, we're going to get one clean edge. We're just gonna cut thin strips off of this here at the table saw. That's gonna be our final piece of inlay banding. For this one, I want a checkered pattern. So I have this piece of ebony here, and I think what I want to do is resaw it in half and then cut up squares, and I'll do the same thing with a contrasting wood as well. They're the same thickness. I'm just going to glue them together. Glue up is dry. All I'm going to do is I'm going to... So once again, I have my stop set up here in my miter gauge, and I'm just gonna butt up against there, cut off a piece, butt up against there, cut off another piece, and then we will glue it up into a checkerboard pattern. So now we have all of our pieces ready for glue up. We're gonna use some tape to make this easier. I need to sand down that flush. Take a piece of maple veneer, cut it to size. You can cut off the thin strips at the table saw, or if you have a really good resaw blade on your bandsaw, you can do it here as well. So for this one, I like how the grain on the end here is going at an angle. And I figured if we cut a bunch of pieces and then flip one, we can kind of get like a little arrow pattern. I'm just kind of winging it here. I don't really have much of an idea where I'm taking this. I'm getting a nice flat surface there. And I'm gonna cut the middle strip out over here at the table saw, and I've got my middle line on the outside of the blade. I think I'm just gonna use a piece of maple veneer that I have and just cut a couple strips out of this. Oh yeah, that's gonna look good. Hey, 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 hey. Cut. <laughs> I'm going to use some pieces of plywood as calls for the glue up. That's going to make it a little bit easier. Tape so any glue squeeze out does not stick to the plywood calls. We came up with a really, really easy one to make. We're going to take some quarter inch plywood, some of the good stuff, with a lot of layers and just sandwich that in between two pieces of mahogany. When you're gluing it up, you wanna make sure they're somewhat flat on one side so you can run that along your table saw fence. 
And for this last one, we're going to use three different species. We got some mahogany, we got some walnut, and some maple. We're gonna cut up a bunch of thin strips and then glue them together, cut them at 45 degree angles, and then glue them together. Maple, mahogany, walnut, maple, mahogany, walnut. And we need to glue them up together. But before I do that, I'm going to chop off 12 inch segments so I can gang up another set of maple, mahogany, walnut, maple, mahogany, walnut. I think just the spring clamps are gonna work on this one. If you have a drum sander, that's gonna be the easiest way to flatten this. We are just gonna sand it down with the random orbit sander. It's time to cut the pieces. I'm putting some masking tape on there so the small pieces don't fall in there. I've got my miter gauge set to 45 degrees and I'm gonna start by making a 45 degree cut here, setting up a little stop and then cutting a bunch of thin little strips. I wanna go about a quarter of an inch past that curve Set up my stop. Make sure you're using some sort of fancy, exotic, expensive woods for that. Otherwise it won't work. We're playing with the patterns here. I think we're gonna do a couple strips of the maple mahogany walnut, maple mahogany walnut, and then we'll sandwich that in with maybe a veneer. And we can get a couple pieces out of that. But Dan was playing around with this arrow. So this glue up is a little tricky. So I'm just gonna do one piece at a time and kind of glue them up that way with some CA glue. This one, we're going to do the arrow. This is one of those projects you can experiment for days, just cutting up different patterns. And the more you do it, the crazier patterns and the more you kind of understand what the finished piece is gonna look like. There are two ways to use this banding. One way is to use veneers and you'll have your plywood or whatever wood that you're using for the piece and you lay down a piece of veneer, you glue that in, you take a piece of banding, you glue that in, and then another piece of veneer and then you can sand everything down flush. You can also take the piece to the router and route a groove in there that's the exact width of your banding and inlay it that way. While we're sanding and doing some final finishing on the inlay banding, I'd like to tell you about today's sponsor and that is Dollar Shave Club. I've been a paying member of Dollar Shave Club since 2012. And I know you're asking yourself, why would you pay for Dollar Shave Club when you got that gorgeous beard? Dan was actually asking me that earlier today. I shave my head in the shower a couple times a week using their razor and their shave butter. We all know Dollar Shave Club has you covered for all your grooming needs, shower, oral care, deodorants, and most importantly, shaving. And this holiday season, they have your back for all your gifting needs, from members' favorite gift sets to gift cards to... Roblancho? It says Roblant. It's a combination of a robe, blanket, and poncho. I gotta get that. I gotta get that. Kelly, if you're watching, I need a Roblancho set. Struggling to figure out what to get your significant other, dad, brother, or anybody else on your list? You found it. This is it. I'm supposed to show you the unboxing of this, but because I'm a paying member, I thought this was my actual monthly package. So the starter kit comes with this executive handle and blades. This is good stuff, people. This is what I use every single week. Also, you get an ounce of the shave butter. There'll be a link down in the description, or you can go to dollarshaveclub.com slash make something and get your $5 starter kit or any one of the gift sets that we talked about earlier. Thank you, Dollar Shave Club, for making these videos possible. Now let's go check out this inlay banding. All of this beautiful wood came from my friends at KenCraft. You can visit them at KenCraftCompany.com and they do sell online. Really, really happy with the way this came out. In the past, I have purchased my own inlay banding and I've used it on various projects. I think recently we did it on the Ben box. It really just classes up the boxes and the pieces that you make. Endless combinations, the more you play around with it, I think the more creative you can get with it. You can turn an ordinary picture frame into something absolutely beautiful. This checkered piece I also recently used in the making of a trophy for a go-kart race that has already happened. I actually raced in that race for that trophy and didn't win it. More on that later. A whole video on go-karts, it's gonna be crazy.
We're quitting woodworking. No more woodworking, Dan. That is it, folks. We'll see you next week with a brand new project. As always, be safe, have fun, stay passionate, and make something. <laughs>